boycotting the pirates? It sounds like something that we hear and read an awful lot about whenever the pirates do something as awful as trading Andrew McCutcheon for nothing or as awful as trading Garrett Cole for nothing or as awful as giving Juan Nicasio away literally for nothing. But that's what we're hearing more and more of and we're gonna discuss that today. I'm Dan Kovacevic, you're listening to the DK Sports Radio Pirate Show, joined here in our Highmark Stadium studio by Lance Lysowski, our beat writer. Very busy beat writer. Yeah, it's been an interesting few days. First, Garrett Cole traded to the Astros for four players. Then Andrew McCutcheon traded to the Giants for two players. We'll see if they're players or not. Four will be in the major leagues. Whether or not they're major league caliber, I guess we'll wait and see. The Pirate Show is always sponsored by our friends at My Floor Needs. Embarrassed of the stained carpet in your office? Tired of looking at your dull, dirty floor? My Floor Needs is here to fix that. With years of experience and 24-7 service, My Floor Needs offers stripping and waxing, carpet tile, grouting, concrete cleaning, as well as polishing and buffing services. Call 888-87-MY-FLOOR or email info at myfloorneeds.com for a free estimate and get your floors looking like new. That's myfloorneeds.com, those three words. Lance, how seriously should we take I mean, you're seeing, you know, it's, it's Twitter, which is just becoming a worse and worse place by the day in general. So I don't really take anything seriously on Twitter. It's just a, it's a handful of people that just basically speak to each other. <laughs> but how seriously can we take fan anger or even fan apathy as uh, it relates to this trade? You know, or the Pirates in general. I think you don't you don't look at these things. You know, I think it's a case by case basis. I think with where this fan base is, the pirate the Pirates, of course, we're talking about, of course. I think where they are right now, after what happened in the last couple of years, and it all began with a Neil Walker trade for John Neese, really, in my in my opinion, and it just. It's just at the point where you saw the attendance late last season after they pretty much gave up and trade Tony, traded Tony Watson. They gave away non- Juan Nicasio for nothing. Uh, the, the players are obviously frustrated, and it's the fan. They're tired of it. I think after what they experienced with the three consecutive playoff years, they saw what playoff baseball is like, and they saw that it can be done. And just the fact that they had a generational talent like Andrew McCutcheon, they had a pitcher like Garrett Cole in this front office, this ownership, didn't add to it. They didn't go for it, and now they're selling it off. Yeah, I mean, they are what they are. Yeah, I mean, But I think what's happened here lately is that more and more people are starting to see that. Even the ones who had invested an awful lot of energy in defending them or thinking, wow, maybe they're just really thinking outside the box or maybe we really are kind of stupid and they're very smart. Now they're looking around and seeing, well, wait a second, the Cleveland Indians had way lower attendance. And there's a lot of parity in baseball. And they spent like everything that they could to try to you know, get to the World Series the, two two years in a row. The Royals won the World Series. The Twins Through make a, a real push. Effort. You have yeah. you have teams across Major League Baseball. Brewers. No matter what the market size is, they're going for it. They're spending money. But the Pirates, with a roster that had so much potential, including Andrew McCutcheon, Garrett Cole, they stood pat. And if if it didn't take that much, I think, in my opinion, if you added to this roster to be one of those teams that it was wants a pretty to take good a lineup, it was a good lineup, and even in 2017, um, and if, with if some, healthy, at least and some promising depth in the rotation, promising depth, and, and a really good closer. I just, I, I in, in this offseason in particular, I look at where this this young rotation is, and and with Andrew McCutcheon coming back, I think going into 2018. I find it hard to believe you're telling well, me this team isn't better than it was thing, a year ago. I'm people, sorry. People see this. They aren't contrary to what the Pirates front office thinks. Stupid. They see these things with their own eyes. They go to the ball games. They know the metrics, both advanced, uh, old-fashioned, whatever you want to. The information's out there it's, more it's, than ever. It's all out there. So when you know Bob Nutting tells everybody that – you're not going to be seeing the Pirates keep players like Kutch in the future either because that's just a problem around the industry. And then you can say, well, hang on a second. What's Joey Votto doing at first base in Cincinnati? How are the Brewers keeping their guys? How did the Royals keep 
their guys for the most part. Uh, this is they they just think you're stupid, and I think people have had enough of it. The question is, though, Lance, what do they do? What do they do? What will they do? What will they do? This is going to continue. I mean, you look at no, jo- no, no, not the Pirates. I don't care about the Pirates. What will the fans do? Oh, uh, well, a lot of them aren't going to show up to games and they're going to stop watching on TV because as much as you say that, okay, Neil Huntington kept going back to the fact that they got four four guys who are going to contribute the major leagues this season, each one of them has their question marks. They're not going to come in and be major league caliber players. I think the, these guys are mostly AAA players or they're relievers at – in Joe Musgrove's case, that are going to be put in the rotation. There's going to be a huge learning curve. This is going to be a very difficult job for Clint Hurdle and Ray Searich. This is going to be ugly baseball for 2018, and the fans, they're not going to want to pay for it. Sure, you'll get your families to go out for fireworks night or on a Sunday afternoon when the the weather's nice and they really don't care about the product in the field or they're interested in the other team coming into town, but for the most part, it's going to be dead again. So you think it's just as simple as, you know, lower attendance maybe just some apathy you know i think you're so. not gonna if somebody if somebody at your company gives you four tickets to the ball game that night you kind of treat it like kenny Wood, and you take your family and you sit there and you have hot dogs and whatever else and you don't even really care what the final score is um i'm hearing people as angry as i've ever heard them i also get a strong sense of apathy although Remember that apathy is a weird thing to measure because no one ever holds up a, a sandwich board that says, I am apathetic. I, don't. I just don't care. <laughs> it, it, it's not how this stuff works. So mostly when people do that, it, it's just their way of saying that they really, really, really care. <laughs> and in this fan base's case, I think a lot of people do care. That's why they're so angry. Every single time something happens, it's, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> that's it. And th- we saw some of that with the coal trade. And then two nights later in our comment section, we saw some of the same people saying, that's it, I'm done, man. That's no more for me. Uh, I think, you know, they maybe the in my opinion. Do? Well, in my opinion, the ownership kind of, I don't want to say they kind of, hinted towards this or kind of warm people up to the idea that, hey, we're going to be doing a, a rebuild at some point. But it seems like a lot of fans, they expected it. I mean, it's not like Andrew McCutcheon getting traded is blindsided. Well, they've learned to expect the worst in general. That's a good Whether point. Whether it's Cole and Kutch or whatever it is, I think they just brace them. There's, there's nothing about this that feels shocking. I don't you think know? they're going to hold – I don't think Pirates fans are going to have a parade outside PNC Park like the Browns did after the Who would organize 16. it? See, that's, that, that to me is the question. <laughs> when you're talking about a boycott – and remember that a guy who's actually currently a subscriber to our site uh, was the one who organized it a long time ago, the walkout protest at PNC oh, yeah. Park. And, you know, there were about 100, 150 people that did it, and they got some attention from television crews and, and social media at the time, but it wasn't anywhere near what had been expected. Uh, I remember even on the broadcast that Greg Brown and everybody were kind of forced to talk about it because it was, had become such a discussion point on social media. Well, again, to reiterate, social media is not at all indicative of the real world. And it, it nothing came of it. So what do you do? Do you protest? What do you do? Like, you know, m- walk in circles around the Willie Stargell statue on opening day? What do you, what do? You do? What do you, what are you Realistically, doing? what do you sell do? Sell the team? I don't yeah, know. I mean, it's not like Bob Nunning's going to sell the team. That's just, that's just not going to happen. So for these fans, the situation is what it is. Um, the Pirates are going to have to kind of hope that this young group kind of outperforms or overperforms to kind of put the, to buy some goodwill for the but fan there's base. Still but there's still no, you know, there's still no hope when that happens, though, because you now have concrete evidence after the 2015 season that these guys could not care less. They didn't want to add. They to a 98-win sat- team. They brought was in really Ryan good. Vogel's song. That team was really good in It might have been the best team in baseball in the regular season. And Sean Rodriguez said as much at Pirate Fest last, at last month. And, again, you talk to players. They thought that this group heading into 2018 – with the starting pitching where it was. This current this, one, you mean? This current group yeah. with Andrew McCutcheon and Garrett Cole. I heard, they I've thought heard the same they thing. could have been very, very good in 2018, but Neil Huntington says that's not the case. They were two years away from contending. I just don't buy that. Well, they, But Lance, he tried all kinds of stuff. You know, the stuff that he was saying uh, to you, you were covering him in the winter meetings about how if they, uh, you know, they're going to wait and see how the rest of the division shapes out. What was that? Like it, they were looking for excuses to do this because they just don't care. 
That's what they're all about. They're about that cycle so that they can keep their jobs and keep pumping money. That's all this is about. But you know what? No one's going to do anything about this. No one's going to do anything about this. People are going to come at me and you and say, why are you covering the team? Don't cover You get a lot of that now. I get it constantly. Hey, why are you covering the team? Why are you helping? We're not helping them. We're covering them. That's what journalists do. That's got nothing to do. We don't uh, execute our own protests or anything like that. We're having a discussion here, but we're not organizing anything or anything like that. That's not what reporters do. But these people who are saying stuff like this, I just don't think any action is going to come of it. I really don't. Other than, like you said, I, attendance, no question, is going to be lower. And then the cycle just continues because this is exactly what that's exactly what this is. It's a cycle. Absolutely. And it's a vicious one at that. Lance, this has been great. <laughs> <laughs> it always is. <laughs> Welcome to the Pirates Beat. That's what that's what the, I, I learned a long time ago. That's what this beat is all about. It's about 90% payroll slash nutting and about 10% baseball. Well, this has been the Pirates Show. Brought to you by MyFloorNeeds.com. Thank you again to our all of our sponsors here at DKPittsburghSports.com. I'm Lance Lysowski. Until next time, because, of course, we're going to have a lot to talk about for, for the foreseeable future, even stretching into spring training. So thank you again. Thank you.